Today on Newsbreak, we will have a look at your national news breakdown. And lots of rain changes today. Jacob Box will have the details. All this and more on this Tuesday, May 5th, 2015. Good afternoon, SHS. I'm Tyler And I'm Tanner Ellison. Let's take a look at those announcements for today. City League Baseball is looking for umpires for second and fourth grade ball. If you are interested, please call Pete Laven at 712-320-8950. Students in next year's Florida J term, please meet in the student commons on Thursday, May 7th. Check into AA and then attend. Please bring your driver's license. Class office's speeches for the student council elections will be tomorrow during AA. Juniors will go to the East Gym, sophomores to the West Gym, and freshmen to the commons. Happy birthday today to Madison Hanneman, Braden Townsend, Hayden, and Lauren Goff. Now let's send over to the big man in the clouds, Jacob Voss. All right, thanks guys. We have a few shower chances out there today, so we're going to take a look at future scan. Just a couple isolated storms are going to be possible today. Very scattered in nature, it just depends on where you are. So it's going to be very scattered out there, ending by about midnight tonight. Not a huge chance, more chances coming for tomorrow and Thursday. What to expect out there this afternoon? Isolated thunderstorms or rain showers out there, 68 degrees at 4 o'clock. Otherwise, mainly cloudy out there this afternoon. High of 70 degrees today and a low of 59 tonight, so staying pretty warm overnight with more rain showers possible heading towards the midnight hour. And as we take a look at the seven day forecast, you see we're pretty warm there by Thursday with 80 degrees. That's when most of the storm chances come in. And then as we move into the weekend, we'll have more storm chances, especially there on Sunday with 70 degrees. But for now, back to you guys. And now let's send it back over to Sports with Tanner. The JV Varsity Boys soccer team was in action at Unity Christian last night. The night would start out with a win for the JV team. They took down Unity 2-1. to one. The varsity game would not go as well. Unity hit one goal in the first half, and SLPO could not manage to put one in the net after that. Unity Christian would take down SLPO 1-0 to zero in Orange City. The girls' varsity soccer team took on Unity Christian at home last night, and they went on to win 1-0 to zero over Unity. The boys' track team was in Stormlight for their final regular season meet last night. The team took home third place overall. They will compete at the conference meet on Thursday, Knight and Spencer. The boys' golf team looked down from Storm Lake last night at home. Peyton Smith was the meet medalist with 39, and Jack Radcliffe got a second place after a playoff round with Peyton. He finished with a 39 also. The girls' golf team was at Sibley Invitational last night, and the girls took home third place as a, top, as a team. Top finishes include Lauren Laven with ninth place overall, with a 49, and Abby Doolin in 10th place overall at the 50. The boys' tennis team was home against Lamar's last night. The JV team would fall in a close 1-5-4 to, to Lamar's. The varsity team would fall 7-2 to, to Lamar's also. On the girls' side, Lamar's would take down the undefeated girls' tennis team 6-3. That is a look at your sports. Back to you, Tyler. Now we bring Tanner back in with us. How are you, Tanner? I'm doing pretty good. We are taking a look at the National News Breakdown today. These are all the trending stories online at the national level. Let's get started. The new Princess of England has now, now has a name. Charlotte Elizabeth Diana was born on Saturday morning at 8.34 a.m. She is now home resting with her parents. Two gunmen fired shots outside a Draw Muhammad event in North, northern Texas on Sunday night. The gunman shot and killed one, arm, one unarmed security guard before a police officer killed both men. ISIS is now claiming responsibility for the attack. David Goldberg, CEO of SurveyMonkey, tragically died yesterday after falling off a treadmill while on vacation in Mexico. He reportedly hit his head and died from head trauma hours later. And a 25-year-old New York Police Department officer was, that, that was shot in the head on Saturday night has died. He, is, he and one fellow officer were shot at after stopping a man for questioning him in Queens. And that's what's trending for you today. That's all we have for today. Thank you, SLHS, and you have a single day of day.